so these Auckland Punch save states has to be one of the fastest ways to get good at melee. They let you set up common scenarios in game, put them on loop, and then quickly play through them over and over again until you figure out what you're supposed to do. There's one catch though. The process of importing other people's save states is not that simple. So today we're going to teach you where to get the Aqua Bunch training mod, how to download other people's save states, and how to import the save states into your game. I'll assume if you're watching, you probably already have the training pack. If you don't, I'll leave a timestamp that shows you exactly how to get it. Hi! Please subscribe to see more videos like this coming soon. First, we're going to download a save state. The first one is savestate.gg. It's just a public website with a bunch of links where you can download various training scenarios. Super simple and fast to get started. Second, I also like Discord servers. Every character in Smash has a character specific Discord with some really smart people in there and there's usually some pretty good save states for Uncle Punch. And lastly, Twitter. Every now and then, someone will post a video of a cool training state, and sometimes the link to the download will be in the replies. It sounds silly, but I've gotten some pretty good ones through that way. Alright, let's download a save state, and it should be a .gci file. So let's get this set up. First, we want to open up our Slippy Launcher. You want to click on the settings here, click on Netplate, and then click on Configure Dolphin. Next, we want to go into the configuration menu, click on GameCube, and under slot A, we're going to select GCI folder. Next, we're going to exit out and launch Melee. We should see a pop-up asking if we want to create a save file. We want to click yes on this. Now, let's exit out and find where that folder this save file is in, because that's where we're going to go to put the files we just downloaded. Click on open settings folder. Basically, there's this folder on your computer where Slippy will look for GCI files. The netplay folder, user, gc, usa, and card a. So all we need to do is move the files that we downloaded to the specific folder that was just created when we launched Melee. This will look slightly different for each operating system, but the process should be really similar. And now we can start up the training pack again and give it a shot. The first event is the one we want to choose and we will select memory card a. We should see a list of save states here. And that's basically it. These scenarios will autoplay indefinitely until you've had enough. A couple of tips and tricks. If it's not autoplaying after it finishes, you want to set the auto restore and loop settings to true. And also sometimes these save states have multiple different slots. Usually it's a good idea to set this to random so you can get used to different variations of the scenario. And lastly, let's talk about getting the Uncle Punch mod in the first place. It's available at Uncle Punch's Patreon and there's a couple of things you should know. First of all, all the tiers are exactly the same, so feel free to pick the cheapest one. And second, I wouldn't feel too pressured to stay subscribed after you download the training pack. This training pack has not gotten an update in I think years now, and I'm not sure if there's any planned updates in the future. So you might want to consider resubscribing to Uncle Punch once there's updates coming out again. Um, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.